combiner was actually that was one of the harder things to uh, to design. We were at a at the trade show, and two different people uh, said, "You know, if you could make a speaker that you could do." Um, put one on each side of a small concert and get away with no subs you'd you know that'd be something and so I thought about it and at the trade show there I had this sort of a flash of an idea how to do that and uh, I told Mike I think yeah we could you know we could I think think there's a way to do this to combine several drivers and get you know one horn that's even more powerful um, I should have made notes at the trade show because when we got home, uh, I had a bear of a time trying to recall exactly <laughs> what what is it that made so much sense. Uh, and uh, honestly, that well, that was one of the harder harder things to figure out. It took four months uh, before there was something that we could you know build and try. Um, and Tom Tom Wilson was a, an enormous help with that. Uh, it's one thing to imagine something in your head, and it's another thing to make a crude sketch, and it's still yet something else to draw in 3D so that you can rotate it and say, no, this won't work. Uh, but, um, yeah, the first one of those was the J1, and uh, we're still making and selling those. They, it works. Uh, it works really well. Um, I'd like. I, I'd say it's like the Paraline, but it's really not. It's we're not trying to adjust the wave shape, wave front shape of of anything with that. It's just uh, finding a way to combine multiple drivers so that they don't interfere with each other. Um, and that's. The J1 was the first one, but m most of the Jerichos have different variations on that, the same thing. And uh, uh, like I said, the whole the whole point is to getting get the drivers to add together without an, an interference pattern. That's the interference pattern. That's something that's so common, and because your ears seek the information, you don't you don't even you're not even aware of it until you take it away. Uh, it's like at a at an outdoor event where you have a conventional a big array. If there's any kind of a crosswind at all, then you're aware of the interference pattern because you hear it changing. Um, so the, and like with the the Jays the Jericho speakers, I think that's one of the reasons they're used in stadiums so much is that they don't do that. They they radiate like a single driver. So there's no uh, porcupine uh, shaped uh, radiation lobes and nulls everywhere. Well, the, the whole reason for the layered combiner is that there wasn't a way to use more than one high frequency driver uh, without producing the comb filtering and interference. Uh, I hate to use the word interference pattern, but that's, that's what they call it. Um, and you can have constructive interference where things add, and you can have destructive interference where they cancel each other out. And when you have an array of loudspeakers, you have both. Um, the, the line array, to the degree that it has a reduced falloff versus distance, is because of localized uh, interference. The drivers are canceling each other out until you get very far away then they're all adding. Uh, but in the near field, they're canceling each other out. So we didn't want to have uh, a speaker that did that. I mean, that's sort of the thrust of what we're doing. So how do you, how do you get more than one HF driver to combine? Um, and that was, it's basically, it, when I said before that sound can act like a fluid, uh, well, that happens when the, let's say you have a passageway, is, is small compared to the wavelength, less than a quarter of a wavelength. And so the combiner was a way of putting two drivers side by side and bring their radiations together 
90 degrees away but then when they add back together that the time arrival from each of those paths is the same uh, and so what in the exit part of the combiner it appears still appears to be a single driver some distance behind but that's the that's basically the approach in all of the all of the combiners is to make it present the base of the horn the throat of the horn with a pressure front that appeared to come from a single driver